the goalposts here, and I feel very fortunate uh, to uh, have been able to get these because there were certainly a lot of memories with them. I don't know if uh, my compadres here know it or not, but uh, these are the ones that we always walked under. It was very specific uh, in getting those. It's, it's an honor to have my fellow uh, offensive linemen here today. Um, it's just great to see them. They all look great. We're standing in the, uh, in the order of which we played. I was the left tackle. Obviously, Billy was the guard. Bart was the center. Chris and Carl. This is really kind of the offensive lineman's revenge, isn't it? Never being able to touch the ball during your uh, playing days, Brad. But you own the goalpost now. You're in the end zone, you own the end zone. And uh, it's really a part of all of ours now because it's on your bookshelf and we can come and visit at any time we'd like. Well, you know what? The only thing these goalposts are missing are some flags because then when people drive in, they can look at a flag and see which way the wind's blowing so the wind doesn't push them in the wrong space when they park in their car. But, you know, as a Jersey guy, I think it's fantastic. We have these goalposts in the middle of the state of New Jersey. And whenever I drive down Route 1 and get caught in the traffic and I'm driving about five miles per hour, I can look over and see most goalposts. I hated to see them to be cut up and be sold as memorabilia. So uh, I had a chance to, uh, to get them. They're here, they're great, I can walk out and touch them every morning and everyone else can too, rather than being in some little box with a date on it. Brad, I think this is a, uh, a great idea, and, you know, as you, uh -oh. <laughs> no, no, it really was, I'm being sincere okay. about that, um, you know, but what I do see is I, I see some competition here, you know, we move out a few cars, have some uh, field goal competitions, but, you know, as, as players, when we played as linemen, there were times that, uh, you know, we got into the end zone, but we, we didn't get as far back as the uh, goal post, um, you know, we just basically, we just wanted to get over the goal line, and then we were okay, do the extra point, and and we'd go uh, suck some Gatorade uh, there on the sidelines. But, um, you know, so it is, uh, you know, you're going to be a lot closer to it. Because I know, I know particularly you, you, you probably went pretty much most of your whole career without even touching a football for that matter. That's right. I mean, uh, maybe you, you might have fallen on a couple of uh, fumbles. <laughs> I never. was <laughs> <Close> that agile. <answer. laughs> <laughs> so this is a good idea, and thanks for having us over here. Right before kickoff of the uh, Super Bowl, Super Bowl 21, uh, they had the national anthem, and right before the national anthem was starting, I look over to my right, I'm at the end of the line, all the players are lined up, I see Leroy Neiman, to recognize his mustache, he's, he's a very recognizable guy. So I said to him, I said, hey Leroy, you're Leroy Neiman? He says, yes I am. I said, you need to put me in your painting. He says, well you gotta win. I said, oh we're gonna win. So. Fast forward four months later, I get a phone call from this person who owns an art gallery and said to me, Bill, you're, there's a Leroy Neiman painting on the Super Bowl 21, and you're right in the middle of it. So I run down, of course I buy it, and as, as I'm looking at the picture, really analyzing it, they have me on the right side, which should not be me. And they have the guy, Rulon, jo uh, Rulon uh, Jones, who's playing against me on the left side, is on the right side. We should never be on the right side of the picture. So basically, they 
took a right side pitcher, and they moved me all the way over, took total credit for the, uh, for the pitcher, engulfed the whole pitcher, when I really didn't deserve to be there. So it should have been Chris Godfrey, to tell you the truth. It should have been Chris Godfrey. But anyway, I asked for the order, and therefore, I'm in the middle of the painting. We're all here and surviving. It's great. It's great to see them uh, as typically offensive linemen are, probably myself excluded. They're all uh, a class act and uh, just great to have them here. I just saw Raul Alegre last week out in Hawaii and you needed to have him here. I mean, what, what do we got to do with the, with the uh, goalpost? I mean, you had to have Raul here. He, he's next. He's next. You gotta have, next time he's in the air, you got to get Raul here. He can kick one through without pulling a muscle. Kick a touchdown. <laughs> kick a touchdown. <laughs> a little gray. <laughs> a lot gray, as uh, a lot of us are. Okay. So, Brad, thank you for having us. Great day. Good luck. Well, there you have it, folks. The end of a really nice day, uh, kind of a memorial day for me uh, to have all my old teammates back here, my old linemen uh, back here to commemorate the goalposts. Um, this was just a great, great afternoon. A lot of memories. A lot of great people have walked under those goalposts. But listen, if you weren't able to make it today, you still have a chance to come down to Brad Benson, Mitsubishi Hyundai to see the goalposts. You can see them. They're going to be part of Central Jersey. Uh, hopefully for the next hundred years. So come on down and see them whether you buy a car or not. See the goalpost. We're going to put a blocking sled out there. We'll see if you can move the blocking sled. And if you can move the blocking sled all by yourself, maybe you'll get a car for free. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.